arthritis. It's a condition that impacts all sorts of people, but the approach to treatment isn't a one-size-fits-all. I learned more from Dr. Avi Goodman from Evergreen Health. So arthritis is really means joint inflammation or joint swelling, and that can come from a few different places. So one is osteoarthritis, which is really the degenerative kind of arthritis. And then there's also other kinds like rheumatoid arthritis. Osteoarthritis is the more run-of-the-mill wear and tear, and it comes from a combination of essentially how hard people are on their joints, but also genetics. It's much more common. It affects about one in 10 Americans, so over 30 million people in the country or rheumatoid and other inflammatory arthritis are less common, affecting maybe 3 million uh, people in the U.S. with it. And that's also a much more systemic condition. So it affects not only people's joints, but also can affect uh, other parts of their body, their connective tissues. Yeah. Arthritis usually manifests with joint pain and joint swelling and especially stiffness. How is it diagnosed when you start to feel something? Do you just go into your regular doctor? How is it specifically found out? Absolutely. So sometimes uh, patients will generally notice that they're, ha they're having some swelling, some pain in their hand. Maybe their hand's starting to look a little bit different. Their joints are shifting. So oftentimes they'll go to their primary care providers first. Oftentimes an x-ray is shot to take a look. And that is really the most helpful thing in diagnosing the underlying joint disease, but also really taking a history of physical exam, seeing if anyone else in their family has had this kind of arthritis. And pretty typically there is a family history of that. Oftentimes, uh, patients are referred to us as hand surgeons and orthopedic surgeons to help take care of them. But you have mentioned that it is a family thing. So is arthritis preventable? Oh, we, that is a multi-billion or maybe even a trillion dollar question. At present, not really. It's really, the, like I said, the combination of wear and tear. And so folks who have heavy jobs, like heavy lifting construction, that is definitely a risk factor for developing arthritis. So activity modification, just changing what they're doing can help you become less symptomatic, but it doesn't really change the underlying disease, unfortunately. We would love to have a, love to have a medication for that, but we just don't have one yet. Yeah, hopefully one day when medical science gets there. But before that, what are are some of the most effective treatment options and when does it come to a point where we need to come see you? Some of the treatment options at first are the home remedy type things. That's the icing, the elevating, taking over the counter medications like ibuprofen or Tylenol. And then, and then at that point, once those have sort of exhausted their, uh, their use, then you typically come to see someone like me at Evergreen Health. And what I will typically do, again, we'll take an x-ray, we'll talk about your history, we'll look at you, and then often we will get you into something like a splint or a brace, which can help offload that particular joint and really help your symptoms. After that, often that is really, really helpful, but not always. And sometimes that progresses to needing something a little bit more serious. Sometimes that will be a corticosteroid injection. So putting a little needle in, which again, isn't very pleasant in the short term, but can be tremendously helpful in the long term. And then over the long term, uh, some people do end up benefiting from a surgery. I've had friends who have had steroid injections for, for different reasons, and they do help. I have never really known anyone who's had surgery for arthritis. H how would you describe your patients after a surgery of something that has caused them chronic pain for years? They're generally very happy. It takes a little while for them to get happy because some of the surgeries are, even though they're just on the base of the thumb or in the fingertip, sometimes they can be a little bit more involved because it means fusing a joint there or taking out a bone and uh, rearranging the joint a little bit so you don't have that bone-on-bone -bone contact mm. anymore, which is really taking away the pain. It can just take a, a few months in order to get there, but they're just so happy that they're able to move their hands without pain. What can someone expect? expect from an appointment when they are ready to go see you? So when they come to visit me here, uh, generally in Kirkland at Evergreen Health, they come and we really focus on patient-centered care. And that means for us, that means that we talk to everyone, we examine them, we get x-rays in the case of arthritis. And from there, it's all personalized care. We talk with the patients and we figure out exactly what their goals are and how bad their symptoms are and how we can really help them and get them back to doing what they love. 
And to learn more about how Evergreen Health can help treat your arthritis, just visit the website on your screen. We've also got more info on New Day's website. Well, we all know my fabulous wardrobe doesn't come out of my own closet, but coming up, find out how Armoire Clothing Rental is helping some women dress for success through donations. This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Evergreen Health.